Hello, it's No Face Movement, and I'm bringing you the most in-depth research of all time for heart versus scalar squares. Um, but before we get into uh, the movie that's going to be released at the beginning of May, I'm going to use some sources just for heart right now. Um, scalar squares are gateways and portals. All right, we're going to get into that later on. But first, let's start off with heart. Harp Everybody out there think there's only one harp. Some people know that there's more harps, but they don't know how it's working or who controls harp. In this, we're about to show you what is harp and where are some harp location is. There's a lot more harp locations than what we're about to show you. But you gotta wait till the movie. It's gonna be the first week or second week of May when the uh, movie that we're creating is gonna be done. All right, but before we get into that, let me talk about what's chemtrails. There's many things to chemtrails. All right, chemtrails, um, they make plasma clouds and regular clouds for storms. All right, when we see a harp ring, like um, say we see a circle in the United States of America, a harp ring, that does not really come from harp. It's coming from a local radio station or a DARPA tower um, signal. And what happens is they put electricity in the air. There's an FCC chip in all these radio stations that activates the radio frequency and it causes a spike and it puts a, a electronic charge in the air. So that's where the storm is going to pick up. Electricity controls storms. They did research over the year and that's how our sun affects the earth. Um, they've done research over uh, sunspots and uh, solar flares when it hit earth. This is how they got the harp technology. And actually the first harp ever was created was in Russia, but we're about to get into that. But before there was harp in Alaska, there is called something called high pass. Alright? It stands for high power aurora stimulation. The high pass observatory was an ionic sphere heater which could radiate 70 megawatts ERP at either 2.8 megahertz or 4.53 megahertz located 30 miles northeast of Fairbank, Alaska. All right. Um, they did studies of the ionics through, through the use of high power radio transmission. You see radio transmission, as well as LIDAR. That stands for light detection and ranging instruments. The facility was home to several projects with interesting equipment, including a plasma torch used for experiments in hazardous waste disposal, a 2.8 meter liquid mirror telescope which uses a spinning bowl. A mercury to form the mirror used for laser experiments and array of antenna which are used for heating the ionic sphere, like heart. Some of the research conducted at the HIPAS or HYPES was similar to the controversial heart project and so the staff of the facility sometimes had to answer the same question from the public. The facility has been shut down, much of the equipment sold off as a surplus during the spring of 2010. Basically it was sold off to heart. But before we get into that, you need to know about, scroll up for you guys, effective radiate power. Alright, this is what they use at all these places. Alright, an electronic magnetic transmission system, especially those dealing with telecommunication, alright, effective radio power or um, ERP is a standardized theoretic measurement of radio frequency, alright. They found that there is radio frequency from our Earth going through all different planets, throughout all different solar systems. All right, that's one off. All right, um, that could be a formal way of travel in a different way, and we're gonna show that in the video with the scalar squares. All right, um, the radio waves would be a formal way of travel. All right, before we get any farther, let me explain this. Chemtrails is used for modifying weather. All right, there's aluminum particles that coat the earth that's actually killing our plants, our insects, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff that's harmful about the chemtrails too when it hits earth because it's killing our plants, our animals, it's even weakening our uh, immune system and weakening our bones, so a lot of people even like me got broken bones, getting sick, more frequency, uh, um, allergies out of control, also the aluminum particle is called smart dust made by dark, but they can track down everything and little smart particles that can trace everything. Alright folks, and you know the chemtrails is also a poisonous gas, 
and it's also a weather modification system. We're going to get more in deep research with that. All right. Um, people don't understand about uh, aliens, um, what I call fallen angels or anything. They travel through radio frequency. All right. Aleister Crowley he was an evil man that invented the television with the guy that put it together that was the real inventor of television. The reason they invented television was to communicate with the other side. Our all radio, um, all our radios, all our CD players, all our TVs got uh, ERP in them. All, right, all our cell phones got RFID chips, radio frequency identification chips, all right, the mark of the beast. All right, we already have all cell phones. All right. All right, for a similar case, if an antenna system has a 9 dBT gain of and 6 dB loss, its ERP is 3 dB, more than equal to double the TPO to use a circular polarization or otherwise spinning equality between horizontal and vertical liner polarization cause a loss of 3 dB. I, um, they're talking about North Pole. We're going to get deeper in the video. Um, they talk about FM example, FM radio station advertised that has 100,000 watts. All right. What has um, heart, all right. So when you see radio towers and stuff with all those satellites, remember the, they're all um, run still by federal. All right. You can't swear, you know, you can't show, you know, the federal governments control your TV for live sporting events, for radio shows, all that stuff. But they also got chips in there where when we see um, heart rings, all right, that's popping up and we see storms 24 to 72 hours later. They're from radio station towers, and what it's doing is it's by the FCC is they're electrifying the sky, all right, with the chemtrails in it, with the metal particles, they just electrify the sky, and they just made a plasma cloud, or right, with all that electricity, all that water vapor, all that stuff, they just created a monster storm, and it depends how much electricity they put in, and then how big it is. And they got that idea, like I said, from solar flares when it hits our Earth, it goes through our ionic sphere a certain amount. If there's cloud cover, major storms or big storms depends on the class of the solar flare, um, how fast it's traveling, how much energy it has. Bigger storms, less the cloud cover, the more the energy is getting infiltrated. When you look at the sun, you see some of them going through the blue, or um, I'm gonna show this later. Um, but there's signals when you see like there's always like a red line or a blue line. All right, the red line. Most of the time stands for the ionic sphere, all right, and it shows you if it goes uh, through or not. The blue line is the wave. So if it goes through the red line, it means it went through the ionic sphere. Now, if it goes like 20 past the ionic sphere, it means that it penetrated the Earth. So I'll put warnings and watches out there for major earthquake and volcano activities, all right. And then um, there's microband issues that you can check out. That's the ionic sphere antenna, all right. Um, low frequency issues, that's our AM station. And then uh, affected monitor radio power, that's in Europe. That's what they use in Europe. Those are mid wave. And then you got height, a height above average terrain for a very high frequency. And higher frequency, extremely important when considering ERP. All right. Now, when we look at HARP, everyone knows where HARP is. Everyone blames HARP for everything. All right. And it warms up our atmosphere. Um, there's a good side of harp and there's a bad side. All right, um, it's a defense weapon, no doubt. Um, it's controlled by the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy. Um, there's portable harp things that we see like in the Pacific. We're gonna show you in the video. Um, there's harp uh, planes actually that's in the sky. U.S. Air Force and chemtrails. All right, folks. University of Alaska because they study, see the ionic sphere, the auroras, solar flares, sunspots. That's when when the university study it. Probably when sunspots and solar flares are active. And Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA. Using the FCC towers, radio towers, using the DARPA towers, um, and using it as a weapon all right, for earthquakes and other stuff. All right? And it tells you all about HARP, um, the VH, uh, the ultra, the very high frequency, ultra high frequency, low frequency, um, what it does, um, all different systems that we're going to be putting in. Alright, and then um, there's another thing, um, it's called the Arabic Radio Telescope. You might have seen this in the movie, uh, what was that movie called? I've seen this in a couple movie Close Encounters and all that stuff. But this is a radio telescope. Alright, it's just like HARP, but instead of uh, heating up the atmosphere, what it does is send messages through the radio. 
and they done uh tried a lot of stuff. Um, where is it? So just read this about. Uh, we're gonna get more in deep. That's the astronaut Ionic Sphere Center. The observatory calls the National a Astronomy and Ionic Sphere uh, Center. They can heat up at just a certain uh 305 uh, radio telescope. Um, they send messages out before to try contact ET. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. They send uh messages to extraterrestrial which will try to you know they don't find a lot of stars with this um the telescope also had military intelligent uses um it bounces signals off the moon um it also bounces heat waves and signals to the sun so maybe they control the sun through this and other stuff but this is also a gateway or right? when aliens or fallen angels what i think when they travel they travel through our radios our frequency that's why Alistair Crowley invented it they could brainwash you. Um, they could come through telecommunicate. We got some top secret videos um, that people from NASA and other places made videos, sent it to me, and explained. All right. Another harp station is called ISCAT. It's in Norway. All right. Um, ISCAT is a European inheritance scatter scientific associate. It operates three incoherent scatter radio system at 224 megahertz. The northern scan beta, all right. It studies in the ionic sphere. Uh, it has an ionic sphere he heater facility similar to HARP. You see right here. Additional, there's a lot of uh, additional uh, SCATs out there. We're going to show you in the videos. All right, they do the same thing that HARP's doing, but they're in Norway. All right, and that's because funded and operated by research institute and research councils. Of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Japan, China, the United Kingdom, France, and Germany. All right, but it does the same thing. And we're going to, you can read them on the link down here where it's located. The first original harp is in Russia. It's called the Sir Ionic Sphere Heating Facility. All right, this was created in 1983. Same thing as harp. You see the picture. All right, we're going to show you where it's at. And the main um, harp facility. That people don't realize is in Iceland. It's called Thule Air Force Base. All right, and a lot of things operate Thule. You got NORAD, the twelfth space wing, ballistic missile early warning system, twenty third space operation squadron, fifty space wing. We're gonna get real deep into it. All right, um, weaponizing a space, controlling a weather. All that stuff. It's called the Thule Air Force Base in Iceland. Alright, folks. And that's one of the main things of Heart 2. Alright, this is how I predict Heart. Alright. So here's Thule, right over here. And I call this the Greenland Black. This is, when this system comes up, it's called uh, Greenland Hot. Alright, that's a normal thing. But when you see stuff like this, that's coming out of Thule, see how heated this is up? This is from Heart. Alright, same down here. These systems would have normally go this way, but when they heat this up, they're causing this turn bigger, rotate, and send these storms down north. All right, and our harp base is right here. They can either kill the storm or make it intensify, send it down. We got one down in Puerto Rico. It sends messages. They ain't really affected, but it affects the sun. All right, you got one right here where we show you in Norway. We're in the middle. We're gonna show you other videos when it's intense. You can see a little spot right there. And you can see this big harp room right here over Russia. Other harps over there. There's also a harp ring um in uh what is it the east coast of Russia, what I call the green uh the Russian block. I will show you later. You got one in China. You got a couple down in South America. One in Australia. One in uh the South Pole. We're gonna get in deep. But when I see these things active, I put warnings and watches out for major storms. All right. When this is disappear, we see heated up. Um, I put warnings and watches out for earthquakes and volcanoes. All right, just stay tuned. We're gonna bring you the most in-depth research in the harp. Um, please rate, subscribe, definitely subscribe, stay up to date, and watch my movie. Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, Crookedbox, Godlike Production. Follow me on Mystiques, and if you're watching this on Mystique, check out astrology and astronomy. Drop the Y, you will find the No Face Move. This is the No Face Move. Move, move to next time. Facing off.
And we're getting real and deep with her. Peace.